Davy Johnson of the Elton John Band is working on a documentary on all the people who helped Elton John become Elton John. The list is very long. It starts with the musicians. Davy Johnson on guitar. Dee Murray, Nigel Olson. There's a lot of other musicians in there. Producer Gus Dudgeon, who we lost quite a few years ago. He was in a car accident with his wife. A fantastic arranger, Paul Buckmaster, and there'll be more in this. I asked Davy Johnstone about the making of this documentary. Now remember, Davy has a brand new album out. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can buy it. Also links to the entire interview. Usually when we release part one of an interview, the entire interview is on our sister channel, Rock History Book, and there'll be links right at the top of the description if this clip is not long enough for you and you want to hear the whole thing. So check that out. It's also a podcast. Here's Elton John's famous guitarist, Davy Johnstone. I talked to David Henschel maybe a little time, a little before the COVID hit, and he had said about your, the core, he said the same thing. He said, I've never seen anything like that since. He says, I've never seen anything of that cohesive unit of, it's like they were one, he says, it was, uh, you, you have to be there. And I went, wow. Because people yeah. don't understand that if they're not there, right? You don't know what you don't know if you're not in that situation or a musician. And you've been I with them so long. Yeah, well, it's interesting because um, I'm actually just starting to, to put together a documentary of those days, of those early days, uh, mainly because so many people wasn't aware of all the great work that Dean Murray did. And actually, there's still many people are still not aware of the four of us making all these classic records. Uh, because when we started, I mean, Rocket Man was the first one. And I think the next big thing was Daniel and then Crocodile Rock. And suddenly we had hit after hit after hit. And these were all done just by the four of us. And I think, um, well, what I wanted to do with this documentary was illustrate that fact and talk about all these great players, producers, um, and people like Buckmaster who worked on the, the Elton material and weren't really, you know, given the kind of attention that they really deserve. So um, I'm doing this right now for that fact. It's a, it's a kind of a love trip for me to, to, to talk about the musical side of this, of this band and, and what, it, what happened over the years. Is this Pillars or Hercules? That was the working title. Yeah, and okay. it's really gone around, which is great. I'm glad to hear that it has. Um, yeah, I'm, we're not, it's a working title right now. So that's the one, yeah. Go Easy on My Heart, the first tune off the album. Um, man, you had me on that. I mean, <laughs> Good tell me, to hear. Tell me about that tune. I just love that song. By the way, I love this album. I can't tell you enough. It, it's... Uh, Thank you. I'm so glad. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, you know, it's very weird because usually when you do something um, and it's all through my career, it's been like this, I'll do something and I'll, th and I'll think afterwards, Oh, well, I wish I'd done that a bit different, or maybe that could have been different. Uh, you know, I, I, you, you've learned to live with your, your stuff over the years. You do learn to go, okay, that's what it was. And I accept it. And that's good. Um, but this record that I've done, I like all of it. You know, I mean, I have it in my car when I'm home and I play it uh, and I know it's not out for another what week or 10 days or something. But um, I, I can honestly say that I'm really happy with with what I did and what I was able to to achieve with my kids and with the other players that were on the record, you know, like Denny Sywell from from Paul McCartney and Wings. Denny's been a dear friend of mine for the last dozen years or so. And he was kind enough to play on three tracks on the record. And then my dear Nigel. Nigel played drums on Melting Snow, one of the songs, and nobody great else Great video. Could great, great, great video. Who, who did the face illustrations? I love them popping up. Yeah, that was my kid, Elliot, another little genius uh, singer. Um, he, you know, I talked to him. I said, you know, you do some of the animation on your iPad. Would you do something? And he said, sure. I'll... And he just came up with this amazing, you know, facial thing with the tear coming down. And yeah, he's just ridiculously talented. It's crazy. And yeah, that song came to me very quickly. And again, I was tending to, I, I wanted a really kind of um, uplifting, moving pop song. There was no question about it. I wanted to write a pop song. This is Davy's pop song, Go Easy On My Heart. And we actually made a video for it, which will come out when, when the album comes out. And it's really cool because it's, um, there's a lot of kind of animation and psychedelic versions. The transitions are, they sent me a link to it. The transitions are just amazing. The video, give me but 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 before I, I say anything else i kept going okay is he going off into space is he going to heaven what was the premise of the of, of for the lyrics and 
Yeah, yeah, it's actually a song about death. Uh, it's a song about parting. It's a song about loss. Uh, all these things that are to do with death. And it's not an easy subject to, to write about, but at the same time, uh, this was a record that's so personal to me. And, and so I wanted to address different issues that affected me. And when I came up with the music from Melted Snow, the, the guitar part, when I started it, I immediately went into this melancholic type of thing. And um, that's the way the lyrics came out. And, and my lyric writing partner on this record was a guy called Rick Otto, uh, who's a wonderful poet who lives in LA, a poet actor actually. And Rick came up with some wonderful uh, lines and, and he came up with the title actually, Melting Snow. And I immediately thought, oh my God, that's exactly what I want to, where I want to do. And then a friend of mine in, in Scotland um, turned me on to this, this older uh, guy who actually was very, very sick. And I actually did a Zoom with him, a wonderful guy called Jimmy the One. And, and Jimmy, his, he is addressed actually in the lyrics of the song. Um, he was, had terminal cancer and he was kind enough to talk to me. We were just chatting about stuff. And, and this guy was so positive about the fact that he knew he was dying, but he was just going like, you know, I've had a wonderful life. And, and you know, people have been great to me. And, and why shouldn't I reach my hand out to somebody else instead of being terrified of the prospect of dying? And I just thought it was so admirable, this whole point. And there was a line that Robert Burns, the Scottish poet, uh, a song actually that he that he wrote called Aphon Kiss. And I actually stole that line, um, put it into the song too, uh, because he was an amazing writer who wrote about death and parting in such beautiful terms. So I I, I wanted to put that all together and make it more of like a, okay, it's a song about about loss and about death and parting, but let's make it something that, that's really kind of special so that people can relate to it without going, oh my God, my life's over or whatever. You know, it, it's a little more of a, okay, this is what the subject matter is, but let's address it and let's make it something beautiful. We'll have another clip from Davy Johnstone in a few days. Remember, if you want to hear the entire interview, it is on our sister channel, Rock History Book. And this is also a podcast. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video and a link for you to buy Davy's brand new album. Make sure you comment on our videos. We love, we read all the comments. Buy a t-shirt. You can help support the channel. And remember, subscribe to the channel. It makes us very happy. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take good care of yourself.